Drinking on the low, vibing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, vibing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. Farthest stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest stay from perfect. hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is lip and it's so lovely to meet you and if you're returning thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos you know how much i appreciate you thank you so guys we'll be starting off today's video at the most popular museum in the world and it's also the biggest museum in the world actually it is the louvre museum or the musée de louvre in french so in 2022, the Louvre was the most visited museum in the world with about 7.8 million visits, guys. Like, this is really incredible. And today we are going to see if it's really worth the hype. So I was with my friend Isosa and we queued for about one hour to be able to get into the museum. And to think that this was like a rainy day in November. <laughs> I can't even imagine how like the crowds are during the summer. I also say she's been there during the summer and it was really bad. So yeah, uh, after getting inside the museum, we dropped off our bags. There's like an area where you can store your bags, umbrellas, coats, all of that. So we did that and then we went to get an audio guide and then we started our exploration. So clearly there's no way anyone can see like everything in the museum in just one day the museum's collection is like around three hundred thousand, and apparently just about 10 percent i think about thirty-five thousand pieces are on display so there's no way you can see that five thousand things in one day so we decided to see the most popular pieces and i was also going to show me um some of her favorite pieces today and then would come back and do some more exploration another day yeah isosa has been here about five times at least <laughs> at least so she's going to be like my personal tour guide so we decided to first of all go and see the mona lisa because um did you really go to the louvre if you didn't see the mona lisa but then I don't believe that one person did this. You guys should have seen the crowd around the Mona Lisa. And like, as I was telling me that, that's small. That like that's, that that crowd was smaller than usually is, and I'm glad I came on this day because I can't imagine more people than this. Anyway, I was really impressed by the Mona Lisa, but I think I was more impressed by another piece in the same room, which is the biggest piece in the museum, and is the painting of the uh, wedding feast at Canaan, where Jesus performed his first miracle. Gosh, I couldn't believe that just one person painted this entire thing it's so huge and so impressive we also headed off to see some of the french paintings and we also saw the second largest painting in the museum which is the coronation of napoleon then we went off to see the crown jewels and a lot of other interesting art pieces i was so impressed by the room where the crown jewels were <laughs> before even seeing the the jewels themselves guys and as i was telling me that like versailles is more impressive like this is just a glimpse of what versailles looks like i'm so like eager to go to versailles be going there next year and you guys can trust that i'll be taking you along so yeah after seeing
the crown jewels we went on to see some more interesting uh, pieces we saw some pieces from islam which i thought was really thoughtful because um considering what is happening in pakistan i think this was the museum's own way of you know shedding some lights on the the history of islam and all of that we also went ahead to see some other really interesting pieces from egypt and honestly like I felt the time was really short and there was still so much more to see and so I'm definitely going to be coming back to see more and showing you guys as well and also soon we had to leave but before I leave you guys I would definitely recommend visiting the Musée du Louvre if you are ever in Paris. It's really impressive and I think it's a must do. It should be on your list if you ever come to Paris. Anyways, unfortunately, we had to go as we had another appointment on this same much, day. Much, much, much later. In fact, it was um, our friend's birthday and um, I think you guys... <laughs> <laughs> if you watch my previous vlog i mentioned her and today was her birthday and we had some activities planned for the celebration and yeah. so yeah we'll be taking you guys along on that as well so for Enam's birthday we first went to the skyline lounge for drinks and guys this place was so beautiful we took like our pictures here and then it also had a lovely view of the Eiffel Tower there was even like a couple that got engaged that sitting right next to us the view of the Eiffel Tower was so beautiful <laughs> Yeah, we had some drinks and fun and all that. And then we later moved to a different location where we had some food and some more drinks and we had a really good night.
it's fish. No, wait. It's not. It's not. It really looks like it's fish. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we didn't know you were here. <laughs> no, they are not. They have skills. Cat is Oh, but there's another type here. The handsome. They really look like cat fish. Yes. Yeah. After the time at the pub, we left to have a little sleepover at Enam's place, which unfortunately I didn't film for you guys because obviously it's her private space. And the next morning, she took us to one of her favorite places in Turin. It was so lovely. It was this park very beautiful anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog and please don't forget to leave a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section let me know if you'll be visiting the louvre museum and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye